Well, welcome everybody to a special edition of Thought Leader Friday. Debbie and I are super excited that you're here to join us. Uh, we've got a number of superstar panelists uh, joining us today to talk about how they're taking more listings, uh, how they're growing their team. And uh, here alongside, as always, my partner, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi. And collectively, I, I added it up. Year-to-date production of the people on the call right now is already over 125 million. Uh, you guys collectively will probably end up somewhere in the neighborhood of, of 250 to 300 million. So we're not talking about small fries here either. All right, so let's get into our questioning. Katie, we're going to come to you first. And, uh, you know, one of the things that, that I know that you do that's pretty unique is you really rally your team with different uh, incentives or games or motivations or contests. So uh, tell the folks at home a little bit about that, please. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, so there's a kind of a weird thing that I say on my team that uh, I guess I'll lead with this. Um, it, the, we, we say where, where attention goes, energy flows. When I say that, everybody groans. You're like, oh, <laughs> and, and it's true. Where attention goes, energy flows. And so we do a lot on our team um, to generate and create attention around the metrics that are most important to drive our business forward. And those metrics change from time to time. Um, sometimes we need to put heavy focus on setting new appointments and holding new appointments to generate business. Other times we've got all the A buyers and A sellers we need, and we're, we're putting heavy attention on on converting those buyers and sellers, moving them through the pipeline and getting homes under contract. So as we're kind of looking at all the numbers and figuring out hey, where do we need to be, what do we need to focus on? Um, we essentially as a team will create that attention and create that energy through a variety of um, ch team challenges, team initiatives, things that cause everyone to get a little excited and have a little bit of internal um, competition. You know, for those of you who are uh, clients of Middleton Elite Coaching and team members of, uh, you'll be getting an email after this and posted in our private group. Uh, all of these fantastic panelists have shared a lot of resources and examples of the things that they're talking about. Um, uh, Sherry on our team has put those together for you and you'll be getting that. Uh, if you're not a client yet and you'd like to get access to that, there's a really easy way to do that. Wink, wink. Uh, right. So Debbie and Christy are going to talk a little about what she's doing in her market. Go ahead, Debbie. Yeah, so um, Christy, I brought you on today because you do one of those um, listing tactics that I think sometimes um, can be considered a little controversial, except for it has really grown your business um, by you being strategic sure. around that topic. And that is um, referring to that flexible listing commission structure. And so I'd love for you just to walk us through, start with how long ago this actually started and how you implement or roll that out to a seller. Sure. It started in uh, one of the neighborhoods that we uh, we farmed pretty actively, and uh, and and we're just really trying to do a limited time, um, you know, percentage uh, savings on listings that we would get from that particular neighborhood uh, when they would use us on the buy side, and we heavily promoted that um, in this neighborhood, and it just it took off like wildfire. I think we've had almost fifty closings in the last three years from this one neighborhood. Um, I think everyone wants to feel like they're winning, and um, and so just kind of took that and then expanded it to some of our referrals, um, you know, and, and, and just to, I was just telling Debbie, just to have the fluidity in a listing appointment, especially when I know that I'm going up against two to three other agents, um, you know, just to be able to, when I need to, um, you know, pull out some kind of a, an incentive when they use us on the buy side. And it's, it really does. I think when you present, you know, great marketing, great pictures, everything else, and a little something at the end, um, it's just, it's, it's just working. So we're going to go with it, but it's, I've used that, um, you know, pretty consistently. So do you see an increase in referrals and um, repeat business? Oh, taking this route? A, a ton. I mean, that's all we have. I've, we don't buy lead, you know, don't buy leads, don't do really anything other than um, sphere and, and referral. Um, and so it's, it's just a strategy that helps us keep that referral pipeline strong. Okay, Mark. So we're coming to you now. Uh, I know one of the things you guys have been nailing it with is your, your wood sell or your make me move list. You've been really strategic about the way that you and the team have been doing that. So uh, share the details of that with the folks, please. Yeah. So where this started, uh, as I'm assuming everybody on this panel, including way out there in Oregon, your inventory is super, super low. And buyer agents are struggling. And uh, so we started on our team 
a coming soon and make me move list. So they're two separate lists. So kind of to back up, how do we get people on this list? I've been contacting all of my sphere of influence as well as past clients and a couple of different easy scripts. Uh, basically, hey, if you've been watching the market, um, you know, here in Greenville, we're up 15% year over year just in the first quarter. Would you like an equity uh, analysis on your home? Um, so they're equity appointments. Uh, I don't really treat them as listing appointments. I think that's kind of in the past. So I'm meeting with the, the potential sellers and giving them options of what they can do in this market. And Bill gave me the script a few weeks ago. It was kind of the uh, unspoken objection script. Hey, I know you're watching the news and you probably know your house is going to sell fast. But uh, what, you may, what you may be worried about is where you're going. Is there nothing for sale? Well, we have a couple of options that we'd love to run by you. If you missed this at the top, Mark is, is one of a, a handful of our clients, and including uh, all of you on the call, uh, who are in the process of basically adding about 50% growth to your business this year, and, and, and it was already in a really solid spot. Uh, how much of that would you attribute, ballpark, how much of that would you attribute to really working purposefully on these conversations with folks from your sphere and the structure of this would sell list? A tremendous benefit. I mean, there's no doubt that this list has propelled us. Um, end of this year. Yeah. Great. Debbie, what questions do you have for Mark? Are you um, exploring any additional ideas outside of your sphere for coming soon to make me moves? Or are you guys typically just focused on that sphere? We have focused on the sphere for now. Only. Mm -hmm. yep. But yeah, yeah. We, we certainly may branch that out. Mm -hmm. That's great. So then um, I know you said you're sending out equity or asked, having equity conversations. How are you communicating with your sphere to set those appointments? What's been the biggest win? I would say more text, just a, a quick text. Mm -hmm. Hey, I hadn't talked to you in a while. I'd love to meet up with you and, and talk about how much equity you have. You know, just this year, we've had 15% increase. Would that benefit you? And I, just easy script like that, I've set several appointments. Great. Yeah. So through text too. That's what, that's, we have some agents that are like, oh, I don't want to, I don't have time to sit and call everybody. Right. So just like yeah. you said, text, text blast systems, anything like that. And you're looking for the people raising their hands. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Thanks, Mark on that in the, the text, Mark, as you well know, is that you're giving them the stat behind it too. It's not a vague like home prices are up. It's home prices are up 15% year over year. That's a, that's a number that will stop people in their tracks, even if they already know that the market's hot. So, sure. Yep. Um, absolutely. Yep. Well done on that. All right. Uh, Chelsea and Sherry, we're excited to chat with you ladies. I'm going to come to you first, Chelsea, to kind of talk a little bit about the design of your geographic farming campaign. This is something that you guys have been diligently working on. Uh, and then Sherry, I'm going to, I'm going to sort of weave that to you and how that's translating into listing appointments for you and conversations that you're having uh, with sellers to kind of pipeline them uh, coming out of the farm. Uh, so Chelsea, give the folks a quick overview on uh, kind of what got you started on that and your design, and then we'll walk through some stuff together. Yeah, so um, our inventory levels are super low. Um, and so we initially were like, we just need to find some houses for our buyers. We have a list of people that need a home and need some houses for them. Um, and so we first started with um, the most desirable properties, which have been our move up um, rural out of city limits uh, properties. And so we started with that farm first, um, which was an eight by eight. Uh, for each of them. And then after that, they transition into a 21 days. Um, so every 21 days, they'll get something different from us. And we designed the um, the plan to be different. So they weren't getting a similar piece in the mail every single week. Um, they were different sizes. They were different designs. They were postcards and letters and handwritten cards. And um, so it's a combination of things so that it would become noticeable. Uh, since these are people that that they're they're likely familiar with your brand, yet you don't know them personally, uh, what are those conversations like once you're there to meet with them, uh, home equity or CMA type appointments, and and what type of feedback do you hear from them? So I guess it depends on who we're going out in front of. The ones that are in town usually. Um, you know, I give them two options, just like what um, I think it was Mark was saying also, is that a lot of times it's not just about price for them e either, right? And so I've been able to have different conversations with them because some of them, you know, are maybe in a little rougher neighborhood or, you know, they just aren't in a place where it's, you know, staged or anything like that. So we give them a couple of options at that time too, to say, hey, we can make this as 
easy as possible for you. So we can give you an instant offer, meaning that you tell us a date you want to you want to close. You don't have to have the property shown. We won't do any photos. And um, we'll just give them a, a one price for that. And then we can say, or we can put it on the market and uh, get you guys, you know, uh, possibly a better price for it. And you'd be surprised how many people say, I don't want to deal with it. Just give me an instant offer and they'll take you up on that offer. So then we have investors, right, that we can bring in and they'll just pay cash and close it in a few weeks and then let them have possession for another 30 days or whatever works for them. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well said. Uh, Debbie, before I bring it to you to wrap us up, I want to remind the folks who are watching this either live or recorded uh, that if you are a coaching client of Middleton Elite Coaching, you're going to get a whole bunch of cool resources from these panelists. They have uh, shared examples of the work that they're doing. That's going to come to you via email and also in the private Facebook group. Uh, we'd invite you guys who uh, watch the show to send your referrals for uh, Asheville, Greenville, uh, Sweet Home, and Charlotte to the panelists who are here. Uh, Debbie, take us out with some words of wisdom, please. Yeah, I'm going to ping on something Chelsea said earlier and give gratitude. I'm, we're so appreciative of your time, of you trusting in Bill and me with your businesses and, um, you know, take action on some of the things that you learned today and just go win the rest of the year. We've got six months left.